You might say that this episode is a wrap. That's right, we're talking about putting a wrap on your RV, so stay tuned. There are two things I've always loved about the tab. One, the bright colors that people had, and two, how they personalize it. A wrap is the perfect way to bring both to life. You'll wanna make sure that you stay tuned until the end because I'm gonna share a trailer and its wrap with you that actually won an award at UCAMP. Before I jump into this week's video, I wanna do a brief channel update. When I was at UCAMP and even before UCAMP, I've started to be approached by people who wanted to know how they could support the channel. The answer is there are easy ways that you can support me. The easiest way that you can support me is to subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. A second way to support the channel is by purchasing merchandise through my Teespring shop. In the shop, I carry teardrop themed t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, sweatshirts, and a couple other items. I'll put a link in the description below the video. The third way is something brand new that I've launched. And that is actually a Patreon page. What a Patreon page is, is a page where people who regularly partake or consume content from different creators can support those creators by making a monthly pledge. It's a low dollar amount for the most part. There are three different levels and you get benefits for patronizing at each level. I'll also put a link to that in the description below the video. I actually have a couple people who've been early adopters and jumped in. So I wanna give a special shout out to Gina and Dennis and thank them sincerely for their support and really for all of your support. You've been fantastic. The first person sharing their rap with us is Shannon, who I met at UCAMP 2019. At that point, she didn't have a tab, so a lot's happened since I last saw Shannon. Let's take a look at what she's done. Well, I'm Shannon, um, and I live just north of Philadelphia, near Miller's is the dealer that's out by me. And when I started um, paddleboarding at a local lake there, I drove past Miller's trailer sales and saw a tab and fell immediately in love with it. And right from the beginning, I envisioned this old barn wood on the trailer, right from the beginning. Um, and so, um, you know, in the process of buying it, I concepted how to wrap the complete trailer to make it look like old barn wood. Um, and I put my company branding on it. So if I go see customers and as I'm working, I can write things off, which is helpful. And I work from the trailer. So this is a 2020 tab. It's a 320 clamshell and I couldn't be happier. So when you go to wrap a trailer, there's two pieces really. You wanna have a concept behind what you're doing and you wanna have, it, it, it's great if you know or have the ability to use Photoshop or know a graphic designer in your life that can help you get things to the right size and also get to the right resolution. Because the last thing you want is the graphic to be fuzzy. So you wanna make sure that whatever graphic you're using has the ability to go up in size enough. And like Jen said, any sign shop can help you through that process. So the first piece is designing it, um, and you can do so many things. You could do scenes of mountains, you could do scenes of trees, you could uh, you know, do barn wood. There's mm -hmm. so, the ideas are just endless. I've seen people do um, animals peeking out the windows, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, I've designed um, some trucks for some of my customers, so I'm familiar with wraps quite a bit. And a company that I use north of Philadelphia was the company I used to actually put the wrap on. And they're called, it's called Landis, they're in north of Philadelphia. And, but any sign shop can do it for you. So you can design it yourself, have somebody design it, and then talk to a sign shop, or you can approach a sign shop and ask them to help you design it. And a lot of times they have people on staff that can do it. Now, if you have somebody design it for you, it's gonna take them a few hours, maybe five, six hours to actually design it, to put, put some time into it. You usually have to get it to, the, like I said, the exact size. So expect to you know, invest a little bit in paying that person for their time. If you go directly to the sign shop, sometimes that cost is included, sometimes it's not. And then the wrap itself, depending on what you do, can run anywhere from $50 to a couple thousand dollars. It's very wide range of, and it all depends. If you're doing just an adhesive like on the door or just a small thing on the side and you're leaving the, the actual background of the paint showing through, it'll be less. 
If you're covering mm. the whole trailer, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So the idea is that the company, the sign companies, really, it's per, their, it, the substrate is per square footage. So that's how they charge for it. So. Oh, wow. That takes the mystery out of it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like you, yeah, you're always wondering why the wide range. Well, that helps you understand. Foot. I mean, it's sort of like paint. You know, yeah. you, the more you cover it, the more, more coverage you use, the more paint you need. And I so. chose to go up over the roof. I wanted to make sure that you, if the drone flew over it, oh, it would yeah. still be wrapped on the roof. So. I decided to do the whole thing. Very, very clever. Now, um, when you designed yours, you knew somebody. If somebody wanted to do a Google search, like how, where would they start? Right. Just sign company right. or? Right. So vehicle graphics is the kind of the keyword you'd probably okay. want to search for is vehicle graphics. Most sign companies can do it, but there are companies that do specialize in vehicle graphics. And some, you know, sometimes the, um, I don't know if you've seen the classic car shows, you've seen people rap and they have, and, and Within the substrates, too, there are matte and gloss. Mm -hmm. And I actually wrapped the Jeep. It's actually black, believe mm -hmm. it or not. The Jeep is actually black, but it looks purple. Um, and you can actually put an extra UV coating on it to protect ah. it. And the wraps will last about five years. They come off with heat, so you can put a heat gun to it and peel it right off, and underneath you have a perfect paint job after five years. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> now, have you ever come across where... Um People have removed it and they've got that shadow. Do you have any tips for removing that shadow? I have not seen that, um, you know, except that where that would be if you didn't have the full thing wrapped. Like if you had okay. a specific thing around a door, that can happen. It's really because the paint itself is fading. Okay. And the wrap is actually protecting the paint. Got it. So you're more likely to see that if you do just like just a door graphic. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so yeah. much. I'm going to add some video here and it'll show how beautiful Shannon's wrap is. So... Thanks, Shannon. I appreciate you joining. Happy new camp, everybody. Shannon's wrap is one of a kind, and so is this next wrap coming to us from Troy Robert. So this is our 2021 TAP 400 Boondock Edition with the Sasquatch custom designed wrap. Uh, it's kind of a cool little wrap. We've got uh, the tree graphic here over the window is perforated, so from inside you can still see out, but it, it doesn't mess up your design on the wrap. Uh, we also got rid of our canvas cover. We did a custom aluminum cover down here so we could wrap it and get the full effect. And the window here, uh, my wife Nancy did the coolest thing here. Got a moon graphic uh, and put that in there. So this is the bathroom light. At night when you turn the bathroom light on, you get this cool glowing moon over the Sasquatch forest. So my wife actually designed this wrap where she found a bunch of... Uh, images to match her her goals with it uh, put them all together in a, in a program on uh, her phone actually and we sent them over to a graphics artist uh, that does some work for my company to just put it into the right format uh, for the print company so you always have to check the print company and make sure that you're sending them graphics in the, in the right format and they should be able to do anything for you and um, the only thing we've considered changing is putting some sort of a graphic up over the roof as well, uh, but we just haven't gotten to that yet. So that is our Sasquatch wrap, and that is a wrap. What I love about Troy's wrap is that his wife was able to design it on her phone. This next wrap also didn't require the owner to have graphic design skills. So stay tuned for Elias, who's gonna share his wrap from Phoenix, Arizona. Hi. My name is Elias. Um, I am from Phoenix, Arizona, originally from Texas, but moved here about four years ago to the desert. And I have owned a uh, tab for the last three years. I originally owned a 2018 uh, Tab 320S and upgraded recently to a 2021 uh, Tab 320S Boondock Edition and very happy with it. And I'm very honored that Jen Grover would ask me to participate in this video about the uh, rap that I had done recently. Um, so as far as the inspiration to my rap, I started thinking about um, wrapping it right around the time that I ordered it and then did a lot of research in the, in the uh, meantime while I was waiting on my order because there was a four to six month wait. Um, I originally got my inspiration from uh, Mandy Lee uh, and her videos because I love her rap. It's one of my favorites um, with the evergreen trees on it. Um, and that sort of got me started thinking about what was possible. My other inspiration was uh, Princess Craft over in Round Rock, Texas, where 
Um, they had featured a rap, um, a very whimsical, uh, colorful rap on an uh, on a tab over there in uh, Texas and had actually reached out to um, Princess Craft and they responded, letting me know how they went about uh, doing that and recommended a place in um, the Austin area that uh, does some of the raps and did that rap in particular. Austin being a little bit far for me, um, I decided to start looking around here for uh, that inspiration. One of the things that they told me was that they used some graphics that they found on um, Shutterstock.com. And since I'm not a graphic designer or anywhere near that, um, I am creative, but not necessarily artistic. Um, I uh, decided to look on Shutterstock for a while uh, with some keywords like desert and cactus and, and um, things like that. Found quite a few. I think I favorited maybe a hundred designs on there that I liked and finally arrived at the one that I finally chose. Um, which I did not purchase myself. After that process of finding a graphic that I really liked, um, I had about four graphics that I had in my top four and um, having found a place here in Phoenix who does wraps of vehicles, um, couldn't find anybody that specialized in RVs, but there are plenty of places that wrap vehicles for marketing and things like that. And that's basically what I focused on. So I looked at um, Yelp and looked for the best reviews uh, and found uh, JC Printing right here in Central Phoenix um, in a place in an area called Arcadia here in Phoenix, pretty close to my house and uh, communicated with a gentleman named Tim um, there who was wonderful to work with. Uh, and I worked with him over the period of about a month. Um, really getting the design to where we needed to be. I had to take the RV over to get measured um, and photographed so that they could then Photoshop um, the graphic onto it. They purchased the graphic themselves, so they own that um, graphic. And then uh, because they have the expertise, they're able to change the graphic, the sizing, add things to the graphic and move it around uh, depending on what our needs were. So we spent um, the better part of about three or four weeks um, going uh, about each individual side of the wrap and what it would look like making some changes and additions. And what you see on the wrap is not exactly the way that the graphic actually was purchased. So we did make some changes. In fact, some of the colors are uh, muted that were originally there and some other colors were actually increased in size to give more uh, more of the effect that I wanted to have. I think the original graphic had a lot more blue in it, which I didn't really care for. Um, and so we reduced the blue by a lot. And you'll notice that in the uh, graphic when you see it. I worked with JC Printing here in Phoenix, Arizona with a gentleman named Tim. He was a wonderful uh, person to work with. Great customer service at this place. Uh, I don't get anything back from them or any perks for having um, for uh, promoting them, but they did really impress me what they did. Um, this was the first RV that they worked on. Um, I looked on Yelp on at a lot of places that do car or vehicle wraps or um, large truck wraps. Um, the uh, Phoenix rail system also wraps the entire um, cars, rail cars. So I knew that this was possible. I just needed to find someone who could do this work. So um, you take the vehicle in, uh, the, the rig, um, they photograph it and then they put those photos into a computer at, at which point they Photoshop the graphic that we found on Shutterstock uh, onto it and then we tweak it from there. And we spent a good um, three to four weeks tweaking um, each individual side of the um, RV till we got the graphic to where we wanted it to be. What you see originally on the um, wrap isn't what is on the original graphic. We changed it quite a bit. Um, and I didn't do any of the work. They did it all for me at the uh, printing place. Um, so once uh, you go through all of the mock-ups and you know, back and forth on email, we did most of it. Uh, I think we did all of it by email. Um, when we were finally done uh, and finalized, then I had an appointment on a day to take in the RV and I left it for, I guess it was maybe three or four days uh, that they kept it in their warehouse, at which point they wrapped it completely. And then I uh, picked it up at the end and ma paid my fee um, and uh, brought it home and have been enjoying it uh, ever since. So I, I guess costs can vary. I'm, I can't really say that it's gonna be the same cost at every printer that you go to. I had looked at the vanilla forum uh, tab forum online to see who else had wraps and what people were paying. And I saw on there that people were quoting between two and $3,000 for a full wrap all the way around, which I thought was really expensive. And I thought I probably wasn't ever going to 
want to go and do this. I initially went to JC to see, just get a quote and see more or less what it would cost me. And they quoted me right around a thousand dollars for all of the work for all four sides and for quite a big graphic. Um, I didn't have just a small piece uh, done and I really liked um, the price. It was within my price point and it was below what I actually thought I was going to pay. So I went ahead and um, bit the bullet and did it. Um, and so that was um, what pricing was like for me. In terms of what the graphic consists of, so it's a vinyl graphic um, that they apply onto the RV and on top of the vinyl, they actually place a clear glass uh, vinyl uh, over it as well to protect the graphic on top of that. It is still quite sensitive. The other day I was uh, moving around a rack on the roof uh, and it fell a little bit and so I pierced it. Um, they were nice enough to place a um, another piece of glass over it to protect that small rip that I made. It's really small. You can't even see it, but um, it, it is there uh, and I know that it's there. So I wanted to protect it, but um, that's basically what the wrap consists of. I'm going to take you around to show you some of the the bits and pieces of it. This is one side of it. You'll notice that I had some of the flaps, at least one of the flaps was covered and the rest were not because they couldn't be. Um, the bathroom window, initially I had decided to do an opaque window so that I wouldn't have to worry about anybody seeing in, but I found out that I really like the light coming into the bathroom, so I had it changed out for a uh, one-way, which has all the little dots you can see out, but you can't see in. The cassette toilet door was covered, matches the design. And the window simulates the sun, which is kind of cool. On this side, in the front, we did much of the same thing just altered the design a little bit to fit the empty space available on the surface area of the tab. Worked around the window and the wrap actually goes only up about halfway up the um, solar panel. It is a cream color actually. On this other side where the door is at, same thing, we altered the design on this side again to fit the surface area more uniquely to the tab. And on this side, the sun is the window of the door, which also initially was um, opaque covered completely. And I opted again to change it through. To this one for sure, I wanted one way. I knew the whole time I wanted that, but uh, we had a little misunderstanding between me and the designer and the company, um, but they easily changed it out at no charge. And again, they worked around the fixtures, the lights. You'll notice here, I asked them to work around all of these new camp install things so that they continue to be there intact. They did remove the original decal that came with the, uh, the tab. And on the back side, you can't see it so much on this side. I opted not, I, I was wanting to do a full all the way near the roof uh, design, but I opted not to uh, and we went just about halfway up because I knew I would have this Yakima basket on there uh, or that um, warrior basket, um, load warrior. So um, I opted just to put it at the bottom where I knew uh, it would still be visible and still a little bit covered. Uh, but anyway, we altered the design this way as well to keep it just where you see it now so that then all four sides were covered. And then we get to the other side again of the wrap. Elias's wrap is really something special. And I love that he didn't have to design it himself. He just had to find the right graphics and that he was able to work with a print shop to make it happen. I also love that he was able to save some money by not going with a full body wrap. That was a great tip from him. Next up is Carolyn Watts. Carolyn has been a part of the TAB community for a long time, but she's recently become known for her very vibrant tada. Her tada actually won an award at UCAMP, and she's going to show it to you right now. Hello, my name is Carolyn Watts, and I am going to show you the wrap on my 2009 tada. 
This is something that I designed in Photoshop, being a child of the 60s, and had a friend print on vinyl and apply as a vinyl wrap. Starting with the front here, the name of the killer is Grateful, so obviously it had to be a little bit of a tribute to the Grateful Dead. Going around to the side, we have taken the liberty to do the windows as well with peace signs. We tried to accentuate the orange trim. I apologize for the tight space here. Coming around to the back. More dancing bears and Grateful Dead. And my MAGA sticker. And on the other side, featuring a big orange peace sign, more dancing bears, and a pretty faded air conditioner cover that I need to replace. We have a few little dancing bear accents. How about those colors? Carolyn's wrap is really something else. Thank you to Shannon, Troy, Elias, and Carolyn all for sharing their wraps with us and the stories about how they developed them. I think everybody found value in it. I know I learned a lot from listening, so I hope you did too. What kind of graphics have you added to your tab and who did you go to to get help either ordering the graphics or having them installed? Let us know in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment below, and feel free to share the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.